Have you ever seen someone's leg violently shaking during a deadlift? Why do you think it happens? Is it a form issue? Maybe it's due to muscular inefficiencies? Maybe the brain is struggling to send a smooth signal to the muscles? Or is it something else entirely? The best explanation I've come across comes from an old article titled Bifurcation of Equilibria by Bill Hannon. He used to be a starting strength coach and he is also an engineer. So full credit for his ideas and although sadly his website is no longer active, as I'm making this video, I'll be reaching out to us if we can republish his article on HiGS website so more people can learn from his work. So, Back to the shaking. To understand what's going on, we need to first talk about the concept of equilibrium in physics, which simply means a state of balance. But there are different types of equilibrium. The first one is a stable equilibrium. If you disturb a system that is in stable equilibrium, it has a natural tendency to come back to its original balanced state. The second one, is an unstable equilibrium, which means if you disturb the system, it will go out of balance and it will not return to its original balance state. The third one is a neutral equilibrium, which means that if you disturb this system, it will find a new balance position, which is different from the original one. A system can have multiple possible equilibrium positions under differing situations. For example, let's take this metal ruler. If I try to make it stand without any support, well, it is unstable and it will fall down. When it falls to the surface, it reaches a new stable position. But if I want this ruler to stand, I can just hold the top of the ruler and give it a little bit of compression. This will make it in balance. But if I keep compressing the ruler, it will almost want to buckle. It will reach an unstable equilibrium. When you reach this state and you give it more force, either horizontally or vertically, it will become unstable and it will find a new position where it can be more stable. In the case of the ruler, you will see it bent either to the left or to the right. The funny thing about this is that you can't really tell to which side it bends and sometimes it oscillates between the two bent position. This is the bifurcation of equilibria. You have two neutral equilibria and the system is toggling back and forth between those two positions. Now, let's bring it all back to the deadlift. Pay close attention to when the shaking happens. The typical situation always includes, number one, a very slow heavy pull, where the bar speed is very close to zero. At this point, the upward force from the muscles nearly equals the downward force from the bar, putting your system very close to equilibrium. And number two is a very near vertical shin angle, which usually means that the bar is just below the knees depending on your body proportion. But why is this position very important? Why does the shake usually starts here? It's because you are caught in a mechanical tug of war. Your quads are screaming, Hey guys, I'm done with my work. I'm going home. But your hip extensors, the glutes and the hamstring says, Oi, don't you go home yet. We still have work to do. The glutes and the hamstring are not allowing the quads to lock the knees fully because the moment the knees fully straighten, 
it can't help with the movement anymore. Means for the rest of the range of motion, the hip extensors are going to work on their own. And this is harder. That's why they keep pulling each other. The quads want to lock out and become stable, while the hip extensors want to maintain the involvement of the quads. These opposing forces create instability, and the knees begin to be pulled back and forth, oscillating back and forth, like the ruler flipping between the two bent position. And that's the shake. And it's usually front to back and never side to side. So what can you do about it? While it's not 100% preventable, here are a few things that you can keep in mind. Number one is to pay attention to the timing of the knee versus the hip extension. A good deadlift normally starts with more knee extension and then transition to hip extension as the bar rises. But number two, do not rush to lock your knees when the bar is still low. You will be caught in this tug of war. And tip number three, you can try to keep the knees out. This will engage the adductors which will help with your hip extension and also stabilize your knee position. So, I hope this gives you a clearer picture of what's happening when the leg shakes during a deadlift. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.